everyone, along with Ray Ferraro. My name is James Sabolski, and welcome to Anaheim here in Southern California. A Western Conference clash tonight. How big are these points up for grabs, Ray? Well, I think it's pretty obvious when you play in the same conference in a conference that's generally been pretty bunched together, the points are very important. So you, each team will want to get out, play the style that they want to play early on. Centers both set to dig on in, and we are about ready to go. The Ducks take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. Rister, and the shot dies in the traffic jam. And he slides it quickly to Suter. Steps across the blue line. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Zero fear on this guy's part as he blocks it. Throws it on goal, denies him on the play. The Wild have possession along the boards. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Cuts to the paint. Wrist shot from the slot. Stopped by the goaltender. I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a dangerous chance. Snaps one from the slot. Stopped by the goaltender. But he came out and challenged him. Good save. Lots of time left in this period. We've still got zeros on the board. Anaheim's got it in the offensive zone. Quick feed to Heinen. Puck scooped up by Brodeen. Minnesota's got a hold of it along the wall. To the low slot. Right in front. And that's broken up. The Wild have taken to the offensive attack. And that banks off a stick. Angles it over to Heinen. Slides the puck into the offensive zone. Here he is in front. Misses wide of the net. You can go games without a chance from here. The Ducks take possession. Face off. Drives it to the crease. Shot. That's blocked. Minnesota's in transition. Anaheim's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Tries to feed it over to Heinen. Gaining momentum along the wing. Moves the puck along the half wall. With the stop. Anaheim's got it and they're on the attack. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Right on the doorstep, puts it off the post. What a shot. I mean, really good play, but it hits the post, and like everything else in this game, it stays out of the net. And he slides it quickly to Bugstad. Slides the puck over. The Ducks have it from their own end. Here they come up along the wing. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. That pass goes a little sideways. Anaheim's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Moves inside! The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. Carries it across the line. Unloads one! Minnesota's got the puck against the half wall. Greenway scores! Oh, that was a beauty! like the skill here, James, to make the pass and then to receive and shoot it all in one motion. Minnesota's got the game's first goal. How much of a difference does that make? Completely change your mindset, even with lots of time left. You can be more aggressive with the comfort that you have a 1-0 lead. 
Jordan Green tries to get the puck to Henrik. Takes it into the slot. Way too much congestion blocks that. Nice zone entry from the middle. Shot. Stones him in front. Moves it to Fiala. Fantastic save. Dead center. Excellent save. And now he moves it quickly to Spurgeon. That goes wide. The Ducks gain control of the puck against the wall. Skates across the blue line. The Wild have the puck in their own end. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Takes a shot, gets in front of it. Big stop by the keeper. After the first stop, he's in good position to make a second. Gibson's always a battler, and here he makes a great save on this chance. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. Minnesota's up one zip. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. The Ducks have it now. Across the line and on the attack. Tries to the crease. And he regains control of the puck. The Ducks have it behind the cage. Pass back to the point. Let's the wrister go. Makes the save as he got a blocker on it. Takes a shot. Again, the denial by the goaltender. Quick reflexes. You make one, you make two stops before the puck is cleared away. Talbot's done nice work here on this scoring chance to turn it aside. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And now it's grabbed by Grant. Drives to the sweet spot. Manages to hang on. The Wild have the puck in the defensive zone. And that's a paddling from the goaltender. High quality chance, high quality save. Back at the point, they set it up. Stopped by the goaltender. Talbot's always been able to make the difficult save. He makes one here on that wrist shot scoring chance. And X won the draw. The Ducks take possession in the defensive end. And that goes off a player. The Ducks move it in. Hammers it on net. Denies him with the save. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. The Ducks gain possession in their own end. Up along the wing. They've got numbers. Anaheim's got it from behind the net and makes the save. The Wild have it in their own zone. Working the puck deep inside their own end. Now a quick pass to Eriksson Ek. Minnesota's across the blue line. Takes that pass back at the point. Anaheim's got control of it now from their own end. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Takes it to the net. Denies him in close. Flashes the leather right in the slot on a difficult chance. Sends it over to Fiala. And he coughs it up with the pass. Anaheim's done a really nice job positionally tonight. They've stolen the puck every time, it seems, when they needed to. Oh, well, you're not going to get much better scoring chance than that one. But the goaltender makes an excellent stick save. The Ducks are still trailing here in this first period despite the opportunities they've had. Johansson's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Sends it over to Felino. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Minnesota's got it behind the net. The Ducks take over on possession. Steele's got it into offensive territory. Minnesota's looking to break out of their own end. Nice zone entry from the right side. Cuts into the paint. He scores!
Rivers jumps all over his rebound and puts it in. Once his puck bounces off the goaltender the first time, the shooter's the next guy in position. The D can't turn quick enough, and he puts it away into the net. The Wild have taken a two-goal lead here late in this second. Love the way they played this game. To double your lead from one to two is enormous at this stage of the game. By number 22. Sends the pass over and tries to make a diagonal pass to Silverberg. The Ducks looking against the half wall. Snaps it on net. That goes off the post and stays out. The official signaling for a penalty as play is called. The Wild have put themselves down a man tripping the call. Trying to get into position to get to the puck. He takes out the player's feet and off to the box he'll go. Both teams lining up for the face-off, and it's a chance to see if there's actually some power in this power play. Their first power play of the night. They've worked on it, and it starts with the face-off. Win the draw, start moving the puck quickly before you shoot it. Minnesota's looking to break out. Feeds the puck across to Erickson Eck. Strong defensive effort. Puck picked up by Brodeen. Shot in front, turns it away. Tosses it to Henrique. Ahead of steam now towards the front. Puts it on net. How do you miss that, Ray? I don't know, but we all do. You're right in the scoring zone, and you don't even test the goalie. The Wild have gained possession under man. Makes a move in front. Big save. From center, they get into the attacking area. Here inside the defensive zone, they get the puck. Dumba's moving it ahead. Erickson X hauled down. Penalty on the way. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. Tripping the call here. Always makes me crack up since I've retired and how guys argue about penalties that are so obvious. Two minutes is two minutes, and off to the box he goes to think about it. They'll play some four-on-four. Four. If you can get the puck early on a four-on-four, four, the key is to hold on to it as long as you can. Wear the opponent down. Make yourself develop a really good scoring chance. Answer the call on that play. Minnesota's penalty has expired. They now go to work on the man advantage. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Gibson's right on top of this scoring chance. Nowhere for the puck to go. Past the midway mark in this period, Minnesota's got a 2-0 lead. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. And a souvenir for one lucky fan will bring us to a face-off on the ice. Late goings of this period. We've got a 2-0 game here tonight. Minnesota's won the draw, and they'll go to work. Puck grabbed by Jones. They get it out of the defensive end. Minnesota's got it behind the net. Fiala's gaining momentum. Drives to the paint. The blocker saved by Gibson. Certain saves are more difficult than others. This one right from the slot is turned aside. Retrieves the puck, trying to kickstart this power play. Picking up steam in the offensive zone. Puts it on net and puts it just wide. The goalie was late reacting. If that puck hits the net, I think it's in. Bumpy he flares up the arm with the blocker. Makes a pretty good save here. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. And puts it off the crossbar. Had the goalie beat up high, but not the bar. Denies him in front. Oh, you're not going to get a better chance than that, but the goalkeeper does a great job. Spurgeon's not going to get any satisfaction here, even when he watches the replay. It's a terrific shot, but it hits the bar and goes out. 
The Ducks win it in the defensive zone. Time's up for the power play. Both teams back to equal strength. You're always angry when you don't score on the power play, but 80% of the time you don't. Yet it becomes really frustrating when you let one slip away. Let's it fly! Stopped by the goaltender. Getting into the later stages of this period, and it's a comfortable 2-0 lead we're looking at right now. Henrique's won it in their own end. Scooped up along the wall by Fowler. Anaheim's playing it through the neutral zone. Takes the puck at the point. And that one's stopped. He scores! Oh, what a play as he gets his own rebound and puts it in. Bang, bang, shot off the goalie. The puck falls down and the shooter's the one that gets to the rebound. And he puts it in. This neutral zone face-off set to go, and we are back underway. Driving right to the front. Scores! It's in the back of the net. Again, these guys' arms are going to get tired. Two goals in ten seconds. Look at this. A comeback completed here, and we got a new game. That was a comfortable lead not very long ago. I can't imagine they thought this was even possible. They played so poorly early in the game. They've worked their way all the way back to tie the score. The setters will glide into the dot. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Gets the puck in deep. Anaheim's gained possession along the boards. Here's a short pass to Raquel. Time of the goal. Anaheim's on the attack. Here's a chance. Traps that puck tight to his chest. Here in the late goings of the period, it's all tied up. Benino's won it off the faceoff. Grabbed along the board by Dumba. Quick pass to Greenway. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Let's it fly and makes the save. Anaheim's got a hold of it against the wall. Couldn't complete the play. And nearing the final 60 seconds of this opening stanza. Off the mask of the goaltender, boy, right between the eyes. The replay will show us that he's in good position and makes an excellent stick save to turn away a really good scoring chance. Benino's won a big draw on their own end. Up the neutral zone now. Shot! And that caroms right off the mask. What do you think hurts more? He's got a headache or his jaw's sore? That thing was a bullet. Moves it quickly over to Larson. The Ducks will play it in their own end. Feeds the puck over to Getzlaff. From the point. And there's the horn concluding period number one as both teams get on the board. Hey, fans, don't forget to enter tonight for our team signed poster, which will give away before the end of tonight's game. Still lots of hockey still to come, so get ready here on EA Sports.
Official has made his way back to center ice, and we are ready to go for period number two. Still tied up here as we get underway here in period number two. Into the attacking end. Henrik's hungry for that third one. He's got two. He took that quick little pass. Now he's a dangerous player. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. We got a tie game. Back underway, and they take possession here inside the offensive zone. And that one's turned away. Johansson's got it along the boards. Cutting to the slot. The Ducks look to start the transition game. Silverberg's got it in the offensive end. Wrists one. That goes off the twing. Those are the saves that are gifts from the goaltender. That looked like an automatic goal. He's able to make the stop. The centermen glide into position. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Gives them nothing in front. He's sharp on this one. Out on top of the crease aggressively to make the save. Minnesota's got possession here in their own end. Taken by Suter. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Textbook stopped by Gibson. Anaheim's got the puck along the boards. Minnesota's setting up behind the net. And he's able to handle that one. Gibson's able to make the save, as we see here. This is a good scoring chance, but he's in good position. Anaheim's won the draw. And now he angles it across to Fowler. Anaheim's moving it up the ice. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Takes the feed. Denied by the goaltender. Now I wanted another look at this one. I'm sure you guys were all impressed as I was. What a save by the goalie. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. The Wild have taken possession in their own end. Across the line from center. Handles the puck. And there's the whistle as he elects to slow things down a little. A pretty good decision here with the play starting to break down in front of him. Play set to resume with the faceoff ready to go. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Heinen's got it across the line. Anaheim's got it now. Stick save. Takes the puck along the boards. Here's a shot. Denies him again. Minnesota's got a hold of it along the wall. Feeds the puck to Zuccarello. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Moves it around along the half wall. Puts it on net. Comes up with the stop. Puck scooped up by Getzlaff. Gains the zone through the middle. With the stop. Taken along the wall by Dumba. And it's a quick pass to Bugstad. Now he takes it over the line. Takes a shot. And he comes up with it. Gibson's made an excellent stop here. He follows the puck and shuts down the scoring chance. The Ducks win the draw. Scoops up the puck here. Steele swooping in on the attack. 
And he slides it quickly to Larson. Let's it go from the slot. Big time stop. Talbot's able to keep the score the same. He turns away a slot shot. Quick feed to Jones. Glove save, and he made it look simple. Talbot's able to recover, and he makes an unbelievable save here. That's a good chance. Still lots of time left in the period. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Offense is on face-off, and he wins the draw. A chance! Makes the save. The Wild have gained possession off the wall. Fires it into the offensive zone. The Ducks are in transition. Fires it into the offensive zone. The Ducks have it against the wall. Anaheim's got control of the puck. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. The Ducks have it from their own end. Feeds it to Silverberg. Comes up with the stop. The Wild have the puck against the boards. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Skates to the crease. Oh, gets a paddle on it. What a stop by Gibson. Yeah, it's in a dangerous spot. He makes a good save here. From the slot, wrist shot, stopped by the goaltender. Yeah, he's a sharp save, James. Right in the middle of the ice, he makes the stop and pushes it away. Gibson's hands are quick. He uses his stick to make this save on the scoring chance. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Anaheim's got it, and they're on the attack. And he gets a paddle on that one. Sometimes you're in close, there's no room to put it anywhere. The goalie smothered it all. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Now over to Felino. Inside the offensive zone. Cuts to the front. Anaheim's got the puck. Gaining momentum along the wing. Snaps one here in the slot. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Minnesota's got the puck along the wall. And now they look to make something happen from the neutral zone. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Maintains possession. Chance in front. Stopped by the goaltender. Anaheim's got a hold of the puck. Moves it to Silverberg. The Ducks played along the boards. And now it's grabbed by Raquel. Oh, just wide of the net. It doesn't matter how close it is. If it's not on the net, it can't go in. Minnesota's got it along the wall. Takes the feed. And that goes wide. You don't get the puck dead center very often. He's got to capitalize. You wonder if that'll come back to haunt them. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Gibson's in great position here to make this stop. Nice work by the goaltender. Past the halfway mark of this period, we are all tied up in this one. The Ducks win the draw. Picked up along the boards by Fowler. Through center along the wing. And that's picked off. Moving into the attacking zone. Anaheim's got control of it now from their own end. Here's a short pass to Heinen. Moves the puck. Off a stick. Pushes it across to Benino. Minnesota's got it along the wall. Puck picked up by Shattenkirk. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Takes it to the front. Oh, and he can thank his stick for that one. The Wild have taken possession along the wall. And he makes the save. Minnesota's regained possession of the puck. Here they come. Hey, 
hangs onto the puck. Back to the point it goes. And that sails high. Oh, you got to get it on target. He rifles it trying to be too perfect. Gets a puddle on it to make the save. I like how he was able to follow the puck. Good save in close. Delorier's got it against the boards. Minnesota's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Dished on over to Rask. Snapper from the slot. Misses a golden opportunity there. Hit the net. No chance to score if you don't get the puck on target. Picked up along the wall by Grant. Quick pass to Rowney. Oh, it comes up with nothing on the play. Puck grab by Rask. Along the wing up the neutral zone. Throws it in. The Ducks scoop it up along the boards. Slides the puck ahead to Rowney. Slides it up ahead from the right wing. Here's a chance. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. Here's a shot taken by Hunt. Minnesota's got the puck in the defensive end. Moves it quickly over to Lindholm. And he takes a shot. And there's the save. Talbot's locked in. Every puck hits him and stays in front of him. On the odd chance there's a rebound, he tracks that well, too. Takes a shot. Too much traffic in the lane. Dishes it to Jones. Fails to find the open man. Slides it quickly to Foligno. Handles the puck at the point. From the slot. Stick save for the goalie. Somehow the shooter got loose in the slot, but the goaltender's equal to the task. That's a good save. Gibson's able to use all the gear here. This is a stick save on the scoring chance. In the final moments of this period, it's all tied up. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Quick feed to Terry. Wax it into the offensive zone. The Ducks ready to go on the attack. The Wild have the puck in their own zone. And now it's grabbed by Suter. He carries the puck up along the wing. Taken by Lindholm. Directed over to Raquel. Hammers the shot just wide. Probably better off to take a little off the shot and get it on target. He's nowhere near the net. Stopped by the goaltender. The shooter's right in the guts of the ice, but the goalie squares up, spreads out, and makes the save. Steps into the offensive end. And now it's over to Raquel. Stopped by the goaltender. Pretty good shot. The goalie's able to get the blocker up on it and put it outside. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. Anaheim's won the draw. Scooped up along the wall by Fowler. Slides it back to the blue line. From point blank, they score! Ray, I don't know how many times we've traveled around. You always talk about it's better to play in front. Well, you break the deadlock here, James. Now you get out in front. You can dictate the pace of the game. Goalie just can't keep up with this. He's close to the net, but he's still able to have enough room to beat the goaltender. The Ducks breathing a sigh of relief, now taking a one-goal lead. Well, don't exhale too much, James. I mean, you've got a one-goal lead, but you still want to get this into the intermission right where it is. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Henrique. The Ducks carry it along the wall. Move to the middle. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Quick pass across to Shattenkirk. Time of the goal. Takes the feet at the back end. Puck scooped up by Shattenkirk. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. Minnesota's on the attack. Takes a shot. Oh, wide of the net. You kick yourself in the tail after you miss a chance like this. Has to be on the net. That opportunity's rejected. The Ducks continue to lead here in the late stages of this second period. Anaheim.
Sometimes won the face off deep in their own end. Under a minute to go here inside the second period. The Wild have the puck in their own end. And we'll get a face off while one lucky fan gets a souvenir. Just here in the late stages of this frame, the Ducks are looking to build on this one goal lead. Benino's one possession, grabbed along the boards by Brodine, sends it deep inside the offensive zone. The Ducks have it now. Sends a pass over. Here's a chance, beautiful stop with the stick. Good save, positional save through traffic. Well, not exactly a banner night for the goaltenders as the second period comes to an end. At least they'll get a breather here. Hey, fans, be sure to get your season tickets now at this year's playoff locations and prices. Pay the regular season ticket price for round The third period is just around the corner. Ray and I will bring you all the action in a moment. ...opportunity to pick up the best locations for next season. Stop by Section 144 on the concourse. Been a great night for hockey so far. He's Ray Ferraro. I'm James Sabalski. Let's drop the puck on this third period. Barring extra time, the final frame of this one. Here we go. Third period is underway. Once again, I'll send it back down to my broadcast partner, Ray Ferraro, who is at ringside. Ray, we've got two periods played. How do you see this thing? Minnesota's been a step slow almost all game. They haven't had the puck very much. They're losing. If that's going to change, they've got to get the puck and hold on to it much more. Went for the dirty dangle, and it goes sideways. Tic-tac-kaboom. The puck blows up off his stick. He's in a position to do something better with it than that. Anaheim's got it from behind the net. Works it across to Raquel. They go on the attack through center. Here he is, wrestled on net. He scores! Big time! of it, just not all of it. The Ducks have taken a two-goal lead and seem to have deflated the opposition here, Razor. Well, just think about it. You're down one, you feel like you're one shot away, and now you're, it, that mountain seems so high you've got to climb. Wide of the net. 
He's got to do something a little better than that. Just can't finish it from there. Wonder if that gives him a nightmare later. Time of the goal. One minute, 28 seconds. Moves into the slot. Anaheim's looking to break out of their own end. Steps across the blue line. Moves it to Silverberg. Puck picked up by Henrique. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Slides the puck up from the left side. Parisi's going to play it against the half wall. Here's a short pass to Eric Sinek. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. His reflexes on display tonight. The Ducks move the puck in the defensive zone. With possession along the wall. The Wild have gained control of the puck along the wall. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. From the point, they take control of it. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. And that goes off a player in front. Anaheim's gained possession along the boards. Through center. Minnesota's got the puck in their own end. Carries it in. Puck grabbed by Lindholm. Slides it on over to Heinen. Fowler's back on the ice here. He's had a big night offensively. He's got a couple of points so far. Taken along the wall by Heinen. Talbot's going to hang on for a whistle here in the third. Well, there's not much time left here as you get into the final 20 minutes. The game's close. A mistake now would be critical. I loved making that save in road hockey. The old blocker stop. We're still in the early stages of this period. Anaheim's doubled up on them. It's now 4-2. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Grabs the puck and looks to make something happen. Puts it on net, and that carries off a stick. Minnesota's got a hold of it against the wall. Sends it in deep. The Ducks take possession in the defensive end. Looking for space inside the D zone. Jones looks around. Minnesota's got a hold of it along the wall. Here they come up along the wing. Puck dumped in. The Ducks have it from their own end. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. The Wild have gained possession off the wall. The Ducks gain possession in their own end. Nice zone entry on the left side. Puts it on net, denied by the goaltender. Talbot's going to cover it up. He's been busy tonight, Ray. And been good. A lot of times you get busy and worn down. I think that's why you jump on it, freeze it in a close game. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. Anaheim's been the better club as they hold a 4-2 lead at this point. Here's the chance to set up now. Takes a wrist shot, stones him in front. Aggressive stop out on top of the crease to make the save on a dangerous chance. Minnesota sliding the puck behind the net. Here's a shot, traps that puck tight into his chest. And the referee has blown his whistle, bringing a stop to the play. Now we'll get another look at this. That's a good shot, but the goalies get the blocker up to make the save. Anaheim's got the edge in the shot department, a big reason why they lead here in this third period. Johansson's won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. Blocked in traffic. And now it's grabbed by Johansson. Let's it fly, turns it away. The setters will glide into the dot. Brownie's won the faceoff. And he slides it quickly to Delorier. Sent into the offensive zone. Quick pass to Johansson. One on one with the goaltender. Nothing doing. Tried to make the perfect shot, doesn't execute it. Slides the puck across to Delorier. Cuts to the paint. Air mails it over the net. We well, got half of it right. He got rid of it quick, but he shot it too high. It's not even a shot on net. Quick feed to Rowney. Here's a chance in front. Big save. 
I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a dangerous chance. Those are the saves that are gifts from the goaltender. That looks like an automatic goal. He's able to make the stop. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. The Ducks lead it 4-2. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Dismiss that chance. Gains the zone from the right side. Cut into the front of the net. Anaheim's got the puck. Moves it quickly over to Silverberg. And now he moves it quickly to Raquel. From the opposite point. Henrique's got it along the boards. And that's blocked. And he regains control of the puck. Picked up along the boards by Raquel. From the slot, fires away. Stick saved by the goaltender. Oh, he reads the play really well to get out and aggressive to make that save. This shot comes from a real dangerous area on the ice, but the goalie's in position, and he makes a nice stick save. More than half the period has expired. The Ducks have some breathing room as they lead by a pair. It's 4-2. Minnesota's got it in the defensive zone. Taken by Henrique, and he denied that opportunity. And now he moves it to Spurgeon. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Spurgeon's got it deep in the offensive end. Picked up along the wall by Parisi. Puck scooped up by Spurgeon. Quick snap! Oh, what a save with the stick by Gibson. Scooped up along the wall by Suter. Couldn't light the lamp on that. What a chance. Sometimes the puck just doesn't go where you want to finish it. He makes a good shot, but he can't capitalize. On the attack along the boards. Quick shot, denies him in front. The Wild have taken control of the puck. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Takes the pass. Oh, and he completely blew it on that miss. Yeah, you've got to get it on the net, James. You've got an opportunity to score, and you don't even test the goalie. He grabs the puck here at the point. Anaheim's playing it through center. Shot with the stop. Talbot's going to hang on and just let things settle down for a moment. He really didn't have many options to play the puck, but no. in a close game, you want to be sure every time you do. As a great older colleague of mine says, this is waffle boarded away. The Ducks continue to lead here in this third period. They've been the busier team offensively. Anaheim's got it in the offensive zone. Drives it to the crease. The Ducks gain possession of the puck here in the offensive end. The Wild have possession along the boards. Sends it in on the attack. Grabbed along the boards by Shattenkirk. Passes the puck over to Fowler. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Fowler's got it to the side. The Wild have gained control of the puck in their own zone. Receives the pass. Looking to set up offensively. Anaheim's got control of it now from their own end. A chance on goal. Just wide. Dumba's lugging the puck. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Looks to set up at the point now. Oh, there it is! He scores! All over the rebound, and he taps it in! Nice play to follow his shot. He gets the initial shot, follows it in tight, and is able to beat the goaltender with his own rebound. The Wild have to find one more goal here, but they've made it closer. I like the way they played this period, and now only down one. They don't have to go crazy with the chances to take to get the tying goal. And there's a lucky souvenir for someone in the crowd as the puck hits out of play. And by number 13, Nick Bonino. Time of the goal, 14 Past the midway mark of the frame, James and Ray with you tonight. 
Minnesota's shown a new energy over these last few minutes. They got one back, but they still need one more in order to tie. A chance! Oh, what a blocker stop by Gibson! Anaheim's got the puck along the wall. Dumps it into the Ozone. Taken along the wall by Brodeen. Not able to connect. Moves it to Shattenkirk. Nice pass. Slides the puck over. Let's the wrister fly. He gets a piece of it with a stick. Oh, he had to get up tight to the puck. In close, he takes away any room. Here's a shot. Gets in front of it. Grabs the puck in the corner. Quick shot. Another stop by the goaltender. Really good stop. After he made the first one, he's got to find the puck, and he's in position again. Shot. Whoa. Score! And the clock attack strikes! This is a perfect shot placed up over the high blocker side. The goaltender can't get a stick on it. He doesn't get his blocker on it. He's down in the butterfly, I think, a little too soon. Here in the late going of the frame, Anaheim's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Henrique's won the draw. Moves the puck along the half wall. Takes a shot and makes the save. Talbot's got the puck. Boy, he's been under fire tonight. Been really sharp, and in a close game, you can't make a mistake that costs a critical goal. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck. And now he tries to get it across to Fiala. From center, they get into the attacking area. A chance right in front. Stopped by the goaltender. Anaheim's got the puck along the boards. And now it's grabbed by Henrique. Let's it go, and that goes off course wide. Picked up along the boards by Felino. Spurgeon's taking it from his own end. Makes a move in front. Anaheim's got the puck inside the defensive zone. From along the walls, they're gaining momentum. Here's a short pass to Henrique. Misses over the net. Just misses the net, but really the scoring chance is not dangerous if you can't get the puck at the goaltender. Here they come on the attack. Beats the goalie, but can't beat the post. There's the whistle as things will slow down here for a moment. Always a good play if you're not sure what's going on. Freeze the puck. Anaheim's been the better team offensively tonight. A lot of scoring chances, and they lead it late in this third period. The frozen biscuits dropped, and we are back underway here. Stays with it. Anaheim's got the puck at center. Driving right to the front. Stick save. Talbot's got the puck, and he'll hang on for the whistle. Well, in a close game, you've got to be in control of things, and he's had an excellent night so far. Late goings of this period. The Ducks lead by a pair. It's 5-3. Gets last one the draw. Puck picked up by Juice, and that goes wide. No, he's got to get that on target. That's a scoring chance, and he doesn't even make a, the goaltender make a save. Fires it. That's off a stick. Minnesota's trailing. That's why they've got the extra attacker out on the ice and the goalie on the bench. Doesn't go. The Wild have it in their own zone. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Here's a chance. Stopped by the goaltender. Sends the pass over. Fires it down the ice. And that's blocked away. Minnesota's got it from behind the net. Takes the feed. Oh, stick craters on him. So disappointing. There's $300 you won't get back. He's not paying anyway. Loses his balance on the play. Juice works the puck in his own zone. Quick pass to Heinen. To the empty net. Can't get it to go. And that brings an end to this one here this evening.
What's your takeaway from this one tonight, Ray? Right, team one. They were able to skate. They were able to control the puck. And when they got in the offensive zone, they didn't fiddle around with the puck trying to cycle it in the corner. They got it to the front of the net and started to pepper the goaltender. Well, the post-game salute to the fans. Do you like this? In my day, it would have felt awkward. Yeah. Now it just feels like part of it, like the way it should be. For Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski. We'll see you next time we drop the puck.